so next up, we have uh, Thomas Beatty from uh, Octo AI Technologies, Inc. Uh, he's going to be covering AI-powered insurance and straw document review. Uh, their company makes the uh, product Eli Report. Hello, Tom. How are you? <laughs> Good. How about yourself? <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you. It's been an exciting couple of days. Uh, some fantastic tools for strata owners and property managers and other stakeholders. So, Yes. Uh, we'll be your first tag team presentation. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Sonia Blackburn uh, of Axis, who is our insurance partner. Uh, oh, but I'll, I'll start by introducing uh, Octo AI and what we do sure. uh, with Eli Report. Great. I will uh, put your slides on the screen now. Is it, that's fine. Perfect. Thank okay. You. Thanks, everyone. Uh, glad you were able to join us today. Uh, insurance has been mentioned several times uh, over the course of this conference, and uh, and alongside uh, all of the fantastic things that we've learned about document management uh, and communication tools, uh, we are a, a source of potential relief for you on, on this pain point. Um, Eli Report has been around for a number of, uh, of years. I'll give you some background on that, and then we'll talk about how we think we have a part to play in the changing insurance landscape for Strata. Uh, as a bit of background on myself, I, I describe myself as a recovering investment banker. Uh, I've been working with startups for the past 10 years. I'm a big champion for uh, financial literacy, and uh, my previous startup helped people invest and learn together with their friends and family. And while I was running that, I was approached with the concept of Eli Report. And I thought it was strange that when you spend $10,000 on a used car, you get this Carfax report with a complete history. But when you spend a million dollars on a condo, you get an incomplete binder of documents or a, an assortment of, uh, of files, which are hundreds of pages long. Uh, and, and in essence, we came out to create a Carfax for condos. So uh, that's what we've done with Eli Report. Uh, we've run nearly 20,000 of those over the past several years, and we're trusted by thousands of owners, strata council members, property managers, buyers, investors, home inspectors, lawyers, notaries, depreciation report specialists, anyone that's uh, involved in, in real estate and strata. So uh, the, the essence of an ELA report is that it will pull out relevant information for you and make it easier to understand its history. Unlike Condo Clear, and you may have seen Ryan speaking earlier, uh, we do not provide advice or guidance. So if you're looking for that type of interaction, you'll need to speak to uh, Condo Clear uh, or your realtor or your property manager. Uh, but what we do is able is make it possible for you to pull out everything that matters instantly, uh, gaining insights into lifestyle restrictions and critical issues, uh, all easily sorted. And, and something that's not frequently done or accessible, which is to benchmark your community against others of a similar type, of a similar age. So I'm going to actually show you a, a sample Eli report now on the fictional uh, octopus villas. Um, the octopus villas community is a uh, hypothetical townhouse uh, built in 2000 with 28 units over three floors. Uh, you'd see a street view, you'd, you'd see where it is on the map, uh, and then immediately we dive into some of these insurance fundamentals. So this community is looking at a fairly typical uh, insurance budget. They're saving about 9% versus their peer group on their annual insurance. Their earthquake deductible at 15% is a bit higher, but their water and flood deductibles, uh, 25 and 50,000 respectively, are a bit lower. So overall, this strat is not doing too bad when it comes to their insurance. I spoke about some uh, fundamentals uh, of your building and, and understanding what some of these lifestyle restrictions are. And, for those of you already living in Strata, you're familiar with these, but for someone that's new to your community, knowing whether they'll be able to bring their pets in with them, knowing whether there are restrictions over rentals, smoking, uh, barbecue, uh, any age restrictions and other procedures is, is important to them. So Eli Report pulls those out and makes it possible for you to see what the restrictions are. And while that's a little bit small on your screen, it's small so that we can bring up our side-by-side -side viewer and, and show you that uh, following the legislative changes last fall, um, there are now no long-term rental restrictions that apply to stratas uh, in BC. Um, so the prior uh, restriction to a maximum of 15 strata lots has been superseded. However, um, there are still short-term accommodation restrictions that remain. So if you did uh, purchase into this community, you wouldn't be able to use it for Airbnb, uh, et cetera. 
Um, all of these lifestyle restrictions are there and comparable and easy for you to, to see and to understand. And again, you get to bring up the source document for context, uh, which, which helps. Uh, in this building, you're allowed to bring a maximum of one dog or one cat. So if you have a dog and a cat or two of one or the other, you'd think twice uh, about entering this community. Um, but that's how that works. Um, I'm going to skip down to the financial information. And this is something that I believe is, is more relevant to those of you that are living in Strata today. Uh, we look at a building's budget and break it down into several component pieces. Um, you saw, as mentioned, insurance above, but we also look at the repair and maintenance, the utilities, the management fees, and your CRF contributions. And then the static snapshot or point in time reference to the building cash reserve balance. So uh, again, we benchmark those to peers and I'll elaborate on what those peers are. So for this townhouse uh, built in 2000, we'd be looking for townhouses in the province of British Columbia built within three years. So between 1997 and 2003. And so long as there are at least 60 communities uh, of that type, that'll be your cohort. And if it wasn't uh, enough in that cohort, we'll step out one year either way until we have enough. But our density of coverage is very high in BC. So uh, that's a, an outstanding peer group and you really are getting an apples to apples comparison of your, of your building. So this particular strata is spending uh, just a bit less uh, than the peers on their annual budget. Annual repair and maintenance is about 12% below. So that's something to keep in mind as you're looking at, uh, at what you're doing within your community. Um, being only 28 units, the dollars per door that they're paying is $32, just above 26, which is the peer group average. That makes sense. There's some economies of scale that apply within the property management industry. So as a smaller community, you'd expect your dollar per door to be a bit higher. Utilities are almost uh, right on par uh, and uh, in your CRF contribution and reserve fund balance are in a very nice tandem. Uh, I love to see uh, one of those being a bit higher when one is low. It means that since your cash reserve balance is a bit below your peers, you're contributing a bit extra each year, which will help you uh, restore uh, that sense of balance. So um, looking to be in, in fine shape. We also compare to the strata property act requirements. Those will be changing in November of this year. If you've heard some of the other presenters speak about it, you'll hear that they'll be uh, required to put aside at least 10% of your annual operating budget towards your reserves. Uh, and, and that's uh, obviously a good thing. We also look at your reserve fund balance because there is a requirement to contribute more if it's less uh, than 25%. And the other thing that's advantageous for you, no matter uh, where you are within the strata landscape is understanding where um, your building is on critical issues. So strata fees are a major subject of interest for all of us. We wanna know how much more it's gonna cost us in terms of our maintenance fees next year. Uh, you see that the discussion back in October was an 8% increase. Uh, the prior year, they were looking at seven to 10. Historically, they've only been moving up at say three to 5%, but the rise in inflation and, uh, and services costs means that uh, many communities are seeing higher increases now than they were a, a few years ago. I'm not going to belabor each of these individual subjects, um, but suffice to say as I pan down the list that it looks like this community has had a number of historic issues with leaks. Um, expanding that section, panning down to the history, I see that they've had some membrane issues, um, parkade leaks, some piping issues, uh, original copper prone to pinhole leaks. It's only well, less than 25 years old, but that's clearly been an issue. Uh, and then we can see as we progress through time how those issues have evolved. Uh, they were contemplating an insurance claim uh, and then they've, they've taken care of the issue. So this is the sort of thing that we've been looking for. Um, the membrane has been repaired at numerous points around the side of the building. Uh, the war, uh, board performed a walkabout and confirmed no signs of water and grass. So this is a building that has taken care of a critical issue. And as I look back at the report, I see that they uh, have an upcoming repiping project to deal uh, with those uh, copper uh, pipes. So replacing with PEX. Uh, so this looks to be a fairly proactive building when it comes to, to looking at those critical issues. Uh, another area of interest uh, for everyone is, is the insurance and warranty. Uh, you can see that there was a historic claim. Uh, there was that potential claim we saw, but the loss was well below the deductible. And uh, as of February, their deductible dropped from the previous year of 35,000 
to the 25,000 we saw above. So uh, that's some of the insurance history. Um, actually, we, we spoke earlier at this conference about depreciation reports. That's another uh, really important subject. And I, I kind of panned over it, but uh, this building appears to have waived that requirement for a depreciation report back in 2021. Uh, but they're looking uh, at updating it now. So that's that's another good sign. Uh, you may have heard Jeremy yesterday talking about how it's likely that the uh, legislation is going to require those for stratas in the near future. And, and that's definitely uh, a good thing. Uh, we are about to bring in um, some new analysis with the EUI report of depreciation report contents and looking at those funding mechanisms. Um, special levies are, are obviously also critical and top of mind for all. Uh, this repiping project is going to cost about 350000 which 250000 is expected to be raised by special levy. Uh, 28 units in the building, uh, you're looking at, uh, what, about $9,000 uh, each for this uh, upcoming special levy. So that's, that's obviously something that is, is fairly critical. Uh, so that's an Eli report. It's meant to be straightforward. It's meant to be simple. It takes you a few seconds. It takes us about 15 minutes to deliver your report after you've requested it. And, uh, and it covers uh, all of those critical issues. So, so why consider running an Eli report? Well, your first report's always free. Uh, we think that they're empowering and informative. And of course it could save your strata money. And that's uh, as we're talking uh, in the context here of insurance. So, um, Talking about insurance, I'm going to dive into what happened over the past few years. Those of you living in Strata for the long term probably know this, um, but for those that don't, since 2018, 2019, we've been in a hard market for insurance and the deductibles uh, and premiums have both gone up dramatically. Premiums, according to our data, have almost doubled over that four to five year span uh, and the deductibles have gone up concurrently. And that's a real double whammy for owners within Strata because you're, you're not only paying more each month for that strata insurance, but your strata is responsible for more in terms of dollar value of losses before it hits uh, the deductible for the building. And worse, as, as an individual owner within that community, your personal lines policy has also gotten more expensive because that personal lines policy is designed to help cover the strata deductible in the event of a loss that originates within your property. So the costs for, for insurance as a condo owner have gone up massively in recent years. And we spoke with the province, we spoke with the regulators and tried to figure out what we could do uh, to get involved. And what we uh, decided and approached it from was the perspective that, that by putting in the work and looking at more than building spec and claims history, which is a huge part of how insurance is historically priced, uh, we would be able to, in some cases, do better for you as strata owners. So if you've had a historic loss, uh, that's going to be on your, your loss report for the next five years. Your current broker or carrier is going to hold that against you. If you've fully resolved the root cause of that claim, uh, we want to give you credit for fixing it. So the membrane leaks have been fully fixed. The copper pipes haven't yet, but we know that they're slated. So come the next renewal for this building, if that project is done, this could be a really attractive target. We look at your reserves, your maintenance program. We want to see how proactive you are about taking care of things. And of course, if you've got anything that will help you in the future, whether that's leak detection, water shutoffs that are automatic, that sort of thing, um, major projects, those are, those are big differentiators. So because our partners uh, at Axis and, and their carriers are willing to look at your community in detail, they can sometimes offer savings of 20% or more on your strata insurance. So that's a big deal. Uh, I, at this point, like to introduce Sonia, who will come on from Access Insurance Managers to tell you a bit more about herself and about Access. Thanks, Thomas. Um, yes, we have been partnered, I believe, since uh, last year, providing our alternative insurance solutions for our Strata property uh, customers. Uh, here at Access Insurance, we are an amalgamation of six brokerages that date back to 1928. There is sometimes some confusion. We have no um, affiliation whatsoever with Access Insurance, the insurance company. We are a full service brokerage offering both commercial and uh, personal uh, insurance solutions. Uh, I personally have been in the insurance industry for 20 years uh, and I've seen all types of uh, 
accounts and losses and claims. And over the past few years, we really have been looking at how we can make insurance easier for our Strata clients. Uh, the reports that Tom has been able to put together have been really great in that uh, we're able to really look closer into a Strata, a Strata policy and how they are, are uh, maintaining the properties as well as what mitigation effort they're putting in place. Uh, right now, we have we are able to provide policy review and recommendation, um, assistance with risk management and planning and implementation. There's a lot of new things that come out into the marketplace, such as uh, leak detection devices and things like that, that we're happy to walk you through the options of. Uh, we also re review each policy upon renewal and provide claim support. Uh, identify and facilitate opportunities for improved risk management practices. Uh, that's really key, and that has been the biggest driver, I think, with in the past three years with respect to insurance premiums uh, is really important that the stratas do have risk management practices in place and if they do that they communicate that to their insurers because those can be reflected on their insurance premiums we also take a look at the property itself um, and see if we can identify areas uh, of savings for example recently we had a strata that uh, had wood burning fireplaces in the units and because of that, they were paying 50% more in, in their insurance premium. However, the unit owners were no longer allowed to use the fireplaces. So by simply decommissioning fireplaces, they saved over $25,000 in insurance premium. So we try to help identify those options um, to see if that is something that they're able to consider and whatever, and may, maybe be it by deductible or connect them with other um, industry partners to see what, how we can get those insurance bring in Zola for you. We also will co coordinate directly with the property managers and or the Strata Council uh, and join you at your AGMs if you would like help with communicating this information. Really, it is our intention to be the broker and the advisor and not really put it on to you to have to relay the insurance information on to your unit owners or your um, Strata Councils. But the coverage offers, offerings that we provide uh, are directors and officers liability. That is a huge exposure right now, especially with all the changes in legislation. Stratas are now dealing with having to allow rentals, which at times can almost make strata council members uh, matter. So making sure that you are compliant with, with the Residential Tenancy Act, things like that, it, is it, it has never been more important that there, you have directors and officers liability in place, although it is not a requirement of the act at this time, it very likely will be in the near future, I, I do believe. Uh, some other areas are environmental liability. I don't know if you guys heard about the strata that decided to put um, a laundry detergent on the roof uh, to, to mitigate, to get rid of some moss. And unfortunately, they used a lot of laundry detergent and all of those suds went into a nearby stream. So that is something that you want to make sure that uh, you've got coverage for in the event you've got a um, a contractor using uh, different practices. That, uh, you don't want to be held responsible for that. And if you are, you want to make sure you have coverage in place. Uh, some other areas are electrical and mechanical breakdown, earthquake. Earthquake is a huge driving factor right now in premium. There's many areas that some insurers aren't even able to provide earthquake coverage for. We do have alternative standalone earthquake options as well, uh, terrorism, crime and employee dishonesty, uh, privacy and cyber, especially if you're using some of these wonderful apps that we've heard uh, talked about earlier today. If you are going to be providing that information to third parties, you wanna make sure that you are looking into um, the privacy uh, that they are, the way they are protecting that information and make sure that you have protection in place for your strata in the event a breach was to occur. Um, Again, there's also the legal implications on this. So you wanna make sure that you've got uh, a phone number to call to get legal advice at any time. Those are also things that we offer within our policies. Uh, other options are deductible buy down for things like earthquake and water damage deductibles as well as professional liability. So as far as the application process goes, uh, the Eli report has made it absolutely amazing as many stratas will what we find or have maybe newer directors on there and you don't know all of the answers to or maybe a new property manager or management firm that might not have historical information 
uh, the, these UI reports allow us to review and see what has been done and then ask the question. We, As we're aware, a lot of times things will be discussed and reviewed um, and they won't necessarily be implemented. So we use these reports more so as a guiding tool so for us to be able to ask the questions and hopefully help you find the answers that you need to complete the application process. This also makes the application process a lot quicker uh, and then we're able to provide terms or an answer if we're able to both provide a quote much quicker and than in other situations. I'll jump in because we built this portal for access leveraging what Eli Report has built over the past couple of years. Uh, if you create a profile, which is just identifying yourself as either a strata council member or a property manager, you're able to apply by simply dragging the condo documents over into that, uh, that directory, adding the address or strata plan number, confirming that you have provided or will provide um, the most recent loss run and appraisal, and answering the one question, has this building had a loss of over $10,000 claimed or unclaimed since its last renewal? If yes, a brief explanation, and if no, that's it. You submit it and we get to work. Everyone who uh, applies for insurance application will automatically get a free ELI report. So overall, we, we strive to be best in class in every category in our industry. That's really what we strive for and to be an advisor to our clients, our clients being both the Strata Council and their unit owners, as well as property management firms and help them assist their clients as well. Uh, we're always here to answer any questions and we encourage any phone calls or feedback where you can provide just a second set of eyes on any existing policies that you have in place. Fantastic. So that's that's what we came here to tell everyone about, Ryan. I think we've still got a, at least five minutes for some Q&A. Perfect. Uh, let me take a look there. So yes, it's, I pasted some in the chat there as well that uh, people have posted. Great. Are you able to uh, see the chat on the right-hand side? There we go. Sonia, a question for you. Okay. Is Access provide discount insurance or is this offering comparable to what you see from EFL, CMW, or Hub? No, we um, do not provide discount insurance, uh, but we're not allowed to discount insurance. Uh, aside from what's provided by the market, we have the similar similar coverage offer offering that's provided by BFL, CMW, or Hub, or anywhere else. Really, the biggest part of any insurance policy is going to be the application process. The more information that we have, the better. And that is really what's going to reflect your insurance premiums. If we can get all of the information together and our application shows that there is, uh, you know, more information on risk management and all of these things, then we are going to, what, nine times out of 10, get a better quote by the insurance partners. Fantastic. I'll take one. Uh, what does an Eli report cost? Uh, as I said, your first one is free. If you're looking for multiple Eli reports um, as, as a potential purchaser, uh, you can get one through your realtor or you can buy a single report from us for $40. Um, Sonny, I see a question for you. Uh, I see Access Insurance has no branch in Victoria. Would any of the branches in Duncan or the mainland be willing to insure a strata in Victoria? We actually do have a Duncan office. Um, I'm not sure it's not on our website there, but we do have a Duncan office. We are remote based though, however. So yes, we can offer coverage in Victoria. We are actually licensed across Canada. So we can insure buildings anywhere than anywhere in Canada, except for Quebec. Uh, I see another question on what's the best way for a strata to keep their insurance costs down. Uh, I guess you'll get a lot of different perspectives on that, depending on who you speak to. Uh, obviously, uh, maintaining your building to the highest possible standard and not allowing your, your roof to get too old, not allowing your hot water tanks to get too old, um, those things are all fairly critical. Uh, I think uh, from my perspective, those are the sorts of things we see quite a bit. Uh, obviously, it's water losses. Uh, the BCFSA's report a couple of years ago highlighted that that was uh, you know, a major source of pain for insurers in this province and, and the sense was that too many communities were using their insurance uh, as a bit of a maintenance policy. Uh, deductibles back in that era used to be maybe five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 in some cases. Uh, now it's rare to see a, a water deductible that's 
uh, anywhere near that level. Um, but uh, Sonia, what would be your answer? What's the best way for Estrada to keep their insurance costs down? Uh, most important is going to be maintenance, making sure that you're staying up to date on your maintenance plan on, you know, put getting that new roof on there when, when needed, or if you haven't had that, then at least having regular inspections being done so that the, your insurers can see you're being proactive uh, in, in the maintenance area. Another thing is uh, keeping the claims to a minimum. Uh, us as your insurance brokers, really, we are your partner. We work for you. We do not work for the insurance company. I had, for, for as, as a good example, I had a client uh, that when they provided me the law storm, they had five claims within the last five years, which affected their insurance application. Unfortunately, four of those claims were window breakage claims. So each one of those claims only amounted to be about $700. Um, however, now their loss run uh, was quite full of information on losses. So really partnering with your broker to talk about what your options are there. Uh, a really easy way to avoid that for this, for this uh, strata would have been to have had a separate glass contract in place to cover the glass-related uh, losses. That way it wouldn't have affected their primary policy. So having those conversations with your broker on how you can... Uh, you know, make a piece it out and get creative on to avoid having those smaller losses affect your primary policy. Fantastic. Uh, I'm seeing a question. Sonia, I believe Access can offer uh, insurance anywhere across the country. Can you not? Yes, we can. Excellent. So you would be able to cover a building in Salmon Arm. We've had a specific question uh, about a, a relatively new community of, uh, of six units. That sounds right up your alley. Yeah, definitely. We're definitely able to take a look at that. Fantastic. Um, question for us, do we resell documents? No, um, your property manager and or strata is responsible for uh, all of the document management. An ELA report is based upon the documents that uh, you upload when you request it. Um, so that's, um, that's where that is at. Um, one more for you, Sonia, I think we've got another minute. Uh, it says, uh, here, are your deductibles higher to enable lower premiums? No, not necessarily. Um, we do have options for increased deductibles uh, to lower premiums, but overall our deductibles are comparable to what you'll see on, on any other policy, if not at any many cases actually lower. Fantastic. Well, Ryan. Yeah, that was great. Uh, really good overview uh, i really love all the analytics you know me being an it person as well right and i love my data so uh you know this is really good what you guys are are doing <laughs> thanks yeah we we want to empower people with better data so that they can make better decisions um you know, that's yes and have better insurance prices too <laughs> right yes all right uh i will then uh look over to uh, Sean Jordan that we're going to introduce here. So thank you guys very much for coming and uh, we'll, we'll love to have you back at another time. Fantastic. Thanks, Thanks, for right. Thanks so much, Ryan. Yes. Take care. <laughs> Bye.